Yeah, we're gonna get right into the next one just because uh, all the other sets have already finished because of how long this one took, so. No complaints, though. That was a good set. <laughs> okay. Hydro versus Fush. This, uh, this could be pretty scary. Oh, he's going to Sumika. Okay. Both those characters can work here. Yeah, I, these are both pretty uh, solid matchups for for Sumika. I mean, uh, for, uh, against Mira, I should say Nanako and uh, Sumika. Yeah, but Fush played this matchup against me like one million times or so. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I feel like recently. So I feel like it just no, yeah. Oh, it's actually he's getting... really hard. I, I'm very worried that uh, Hydra might not be ready for uh, this. This type of uh, fight, I suppose, if you want to put it that way. Oh, he's dashing around the dots, he wants that meter! The Baybats are like, actually really good against Sumika because they like, spend their like, dots. And because Sumika wants to stand still like 90% of the time. Yeah. It's just so like, very you, can, you can get a lot of like stray hits if you throw them around a lot. Yeah, so. and she just can't, like, she can't find a point where she can just stand still and spend stuff. Yeah. Because it's like flying something at you and the other players are like all blocked off. Everyone's making fun of you because you said you played Fush a million times, but you only have 10,000 games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's probably it. You played three rounds away, then it wouldn't be a... Oh, yeah. Multiple rounds at all. You played the Dujin version as well. Oh, did you? Dujin, Dujin. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't think so. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you started during the Steam version, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh, he shield broke the uh, neutral yeah, viper and just cut right it through. Well. I mean, like he but I, I was just what I expected. Yeah. Oh, any gold shields that one? Like Hydra's like way too hard. Like we really don't want to get too hard in this one. The like Beyblade dash thingy he does like really adds up in damage. <laughs> Please stop saying it's my birthday, Squash. I will kill you. My birthday's next tournament. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh, he just goes to the melee, yeah. okay. <laughs> Giving Hydro it. another chance. This is the uh, neutral hyper, nice half shield. Rip. There it goes. Uh, why is this a, a meme now? Please stop. Alright, game one goes to Fush. Hydro coming in with the GG! Callouts! Oh wait, did I miss it? Uh, it's starting right now, you still have time. Oh, nah, I still got it. Oh, <laughs> uh -oh. oh it says. Yeah, here it is. It's still kind of hard, the way Fush plays. He's extremely good at dodging. Yeah. I would, I'm not surprised that of all people, Fush would be uh, good against Nalico. Very refined you, play style. If you read his balance post, he knows how the bits work really well. Yeah. He knows what to do. It's not surprising. It definitely seems like uh, they are just very knowledgeable about like a lot of aspects of the game in general. Um, like even if you know how bits work, this matchup is like still absolutely terrible. Yeah. And like they are I, uh, I was I was pretty ready to see uh, Fush be able to handle this pretty well, though, just because, uh, I don't know, Hydro definitely seems like he wouldn't know how to fight Mira, never mind Fush. Because, um, I don't know, he just keeps getting caught in smokes a lot, like, randomly, which is, like, I mean, really the source of, like, all of the damage that he's been receiving, from what I've observed. Um, and then, I mean, the Beyblades are obvious, because that's, like, really the centerpiece of Fush's playstyle, but it's really just, like, Hydro can't really get in that well, because every time he tries to, like, dash cancel anything, he's just getting, he's, like, running into, uh... He's going smokes. way too heavy on the mines. Yeah. yeah. The mines, like, My, lock you in place. It's just, like, the mines are getting cut down by all of the random, like, garbage that Fush is throwing out. And, uh, I mean, Fush isn't really, like, approaching. He's just running away, but... 
Yeah, in this matchup, like, if Mira knows how to run, you can't just spam the bit melee. You, like, need to, like, mix it up a little. Yeah. Use some, like, manipulation techniques. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's definitely, uh, definitely a lot of little things that Hydro needs to, uh, it just seems like there's, like, a lack of understanding about the character he's fighting rather than, uh, yeah, yeah he set it himself. Um... That it definitely seems like he doesn't really know what to do about Mira specifically, because there is a lot of silly things that Mira can do against, well, anyone, really. Um, but, yeah. Because, I, I mean, mines should really be, like, like used for, like, aggressive characters to, like, keep them away, or even just, like, trap them so that you can start a combo off of them, but, like... I think they are, like, actually very niche in the, like, extra yeah, applications. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't see them used very often. At all. I only honestly. really use them against baby Kai and Sora. Yeah, that's yeah. where they like actually shine. They can be like decent against characters who like lack fear, like Sumika, so mm -hmm. you can like apply some pressure against teammates also nice because she like can't really clear it that well. Right. Yeah, and but... I mean Fush honestly isn't really using smokes too often, but where Fush is putting them is just like very general spots that are like somewhat close to where Fush wants to be, like, generally speaking, that, um, if, if Hydra wants to, like, approach, then, um, he would probably end up having to, like, run, like, potentially run into the smoke, but... Um, I was also doing this, like, uh, thing where he just, like, the second he has Mita, yeah, like, that, he just simply uses it. Yeah. Which, like, against Mira especially, is, like, really not smart because of Tornado. Because yeah, of, like, a lot of, a lot of fighting Mira comes into, um, half-shielding Tornadoes and... Just like really saving your meter to break down Beyblades, if anything, but Fush, like, you like, really don't want to get to like Mira has actually like really good damage when they can confirm. Yeah, just like from what I can tell, Hydro is getting a, a little bit too content from his past two sets where he ended up upsetting two pretty decent players. Um, because from his set with Yake, I noticed y that like he was just kind of like ignorantly throwing out hypers and getting away with it because of the way Yake was just kind of throwing out like melees to try and approach, but wasn't really thinking about like how to do it. Whereas Fush is like definitely playing a lot yeah, it's smarter. Doing... Fush isn't just like running here, in though. though, you know? So like every time he just throws out some random hyper, Fush is more than ready for it. Cause like even if the people that he was fighting before expected it, they were throwing out moves so they would get punished for like pressing a button or something. He's like on a high fire, yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's like really predictable too. Yeah. It's like what I'm yeah, yeah. getting yeah. out of the tornadoes too. Like, you can just like predict his high really easily, you just look at his meter. Like the second he has meter is like roughly one to two seconds after he got the dot. Yeah, yeah. It's, ju it's just a war of attrition that it doesn't seem like Hydro is ready to win. Um, couldn't really get any bit loops off or anything. Uh, it's going like very like easy on those. Yeah, I really aren't like, mm -hmm. combos from him. Which I mean, he's a he's a pretty new player, so I I'm not too surprised. But um, yeah, he I he's pretty much not that works. he pretty much seems to have the right idea in terms of what he needs to work on. So uh, yeah.